reconstructing interdimensional receivers before, correct? Sort of. My last project was a little different. So I've heard. Well, there's really nothing to it. You'll be receiving the latest DX unit, the DX-12, from Dionysus Inc. Your division will build upon these designs for our use here at CyberReach. What happens if Dionysus finds out we've been modifying their registered tech? Well, you're gonna need to redesign and reprogram all these units. You can't just be repackaging it. If that happens, just to be clear, we've never had this conversation. Anyway, that'll be all left up to your team. We've got two folders for you to choose from. Folder one contains all the technicians and programmers under contract with us. What about folder number two? Some good candidates in there, uh, a little cheaper, don't come as highly recommended as folder one. Uh, some marks on the record. What sort of marks are we talking about? Some uh, issues with conduct, that sort of thing, but... Uh, hold on. Hello? Hey, you're coming in wrong. I'll, I'll call you back in a second. Hello? Oh, it was nothing. You were just coming in wrong. You were coming in backwards. Um, what was that? Yeah, I'll be over there in a minute. You know, lack of funding, deadlines missed, questionable ethics, but... Nothing too serious. Huh? Every one of these folders is good, but you know how it is nowadays. Uh, not really. Well, good just doesn't cut it anymore. You've got to be exceptional in this industry, and for the exceptional, we would refer you to folder one. What sort of deadlines am I looking at? As far as the project goes, it could take anywhere from a year to a decade. It just really depends how fast you blow through your funding. Ten years in a secure facility? Not an ideal situation, have you, but uh, the sooner you can get it to us, the better. Okay. Now, I gotta run over to Station 7. Uh, apparently they've had a bit of an emergency. Have a good day, Mr. Jeffers. <laughs> Please, just call me Phil.
Eh. Beats having to go to the theater. I think I'm gonna stick to film. Film. It's just dated tech. Look, this is the next generation of film. Well worth uh, the price. My fucking eyes are bleeding. You'll feel better in the morning. I think you should probably just admit that you wasted your money on this one. How do you survive this long without any fucking tax? No dairy. But I'm doing fine in the tax department. I'm just a powerful pragmatist. Powerful asshole. At least this asshole didn't spend 15 grand on a headache. Or hire on that Clark kid that we don't need. Look, that Clark kid is coming on so we can deal with all the stupid little tasks we have around here. And I can manage this operation full time. No, you hired him on because you wanted to be your friend. But you know you're just going to end up hating him in two weeks. I'm telling this now and you can call it off. Maybe interview a female applicant. He's already on his way. Fuck. What's this mean for the deadline? When's the money going to dry up? Look, chill, okay? I've done some consolidating and reorganizing. We might have to go generic on some of our food. Maybe put in some quiet hours. No, fuck that. Look, there's going to be some wiggle room, but essentially we're looking at a cutback from 18 to 10 months. You're giving us 10 months? What the fuck? You said that my sweet fish in four. Tops. You did say top. Do you know what could happen if we rush this thing? Have you seen the Crinsby files? The Crinsby? Check it out. Where'd you find us, Tate? Best part. Hello. Safety is always a chief concern at Dionysus Incorporated. The Crinsby case has been recently. Crinsby case. Here are some safety rules. Always be ready. Bring a buddy. Do your research. Report sexual harassment. And don't be a Crinsby. Recently, the case of Arthur Crinsby has gained popularity for its macabre nature. Accessing video. At about this moment, an atmospheric boson density of 0.03% was detected in the testing room. And Arthur feels the effects. Arthur Crinsby's current condition is likely linked to a faulty release valve on his boson capacitor. When operating interdimensional technology, leaks are a huge concern. Please, human. I cannot stress this enough. It's a fact. If you do not check for leaks, your meat will dissolve. Always check, check for leaks. Le le the project manager was supposed to be watching the monitors, but he arrived too late to help with Arthur. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at that boy wiggle. Humans are so fragile. Here is a recording of Arthur Crinsby taken just three weeks before the accident. My boy's a good flyer. He get us up there, get us right up there. And I got two parachutes. Not much to it, give you the gist, tell you when to pull it, and we go down there. Otherwise, if you go and you do the official gig, you have to do a tandem jump. And when I did a tandem jump, the man I did a tandem jump with happened to be an old pervert. Then he got an erection in the sky as we were diving. I felt it. Now we will compare that to the last known interview conducted with Arthur Crinsby. Let's take a look. Oh, Arthur, I want you to tell me. Oh, Arthur. Oh. Can you understand me? Can you tell me how you feel? The catastrophic cerebral events that affected Arthur Grinsby is deemed to be permanent. See, man, that's what happens when you rush your interventional experiments. Okay, if you want us to make a DX-13, we're gonna do so cautiously. That takes time. Well, what are you gonna do about it? I'll tell you this much, if we get close to the deadline and we're not ready, we're going to kick Clark for an extension. That's not really up to you. But I guess if it came to that. Yeah, if it comes to that. Jake! No good? We a whole goddamn tank of liquid argon today. Argon's not a problem. How are we doing on palladium? Not good. Losing four grams today. It's not that bad. Since midnight today. Is it nighttime? Is it night time? I told you, we need our quiet house around here, man. Just sing it in the choir. Yeah, okay, like I'm the fuck up. Watch, watch somebody a little side project, Jake. What side project? Jeffers, don't get angry with me. But I stopped working on the DX13 in a month. What? 
But the problem is, CyberReaches is looking for a device better than anything Dionysus has on the market. If you want to do something groundbreaking, we've got to do it on our own. Look, what did you expect? Alright? You guys are not getting paid to reinvent the wheel. Just throw some spokes on it. You're kind of missing the point. See, what I was thinking is why I just brought in the available operating range of the DX12 when we could be creating something completely unique of these trendy gizmids that only run on a flat screen. Imagine facsimiles in 3D beyond the confines of the vertical and the horizontal. <sighs> Guys, I'm having a hard time believing this. No one has translated the feed in three dimensions before. Well, I can't. And I know how to build it. I've been building it. And Dale's just supposed to know how to program for this? You think CyberReach is just going to write off their investment? They're going to track us down, you know. Look, we can give CyberReach what they want. If they want it simple, we can get that in for the deadline. But we're working on now, we're going to make history. Three men dynamite? Listen, put a hold on it. Got a guy coming in a few days. An extra set of eyes could be useful. This guy was into some pretty heavy shit before he goofed. No, I think he'll be able to manage. Wait a minute, Jefferson. What do you mean this guy goofed? Well, the story goes he was working on a portable time dilator for the military. But he did his project halfway through. Left a bunch of his coworkers treading water. Basically blue balled himself. It's black ball, Jeff. So how far back is this guy gonna set us? I've done some consolidating and reorganizing. Yeah, he's done a lot of bullshit, but, but we got about eight months to decide whether or not we keep this Clark kid or not. Eight months. Ten, actually. Well then you better be one hell of a cook. A degree, culinary arts. Now, we must be ready for a new danger, the atomic bomb. First, you have to know what happens when an atomic bomb explodes. You'll know when it comes. So you heard of the DX-12. Well, what if I told you I could get you the next level for 10 grand right now, and then you can make 50 grand at the end of the year? Uh-huh. Well, what if I told you it was in 3D? No, no, it, it's going to happen. I mean, it has happened. Are you there? Well, well, what do you mean you can't use it? No, it's the DX-13. Okay, you've heard of the DX-12, right? What if I told you you could get it in 3D? No, we can't, no, 10 grand now, and 50 grand later. No, 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 you get 50 grand later. All right, no, no, I know it can happen. I've been told it can happen. Are you, what? Let me keep you on the phone for 10 more seconds. I can totally... Fuck. Hello? Shit. Place okay? Here? Yeah, it is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, let me show you around. Well, so mail comes in on the first of every month. You get one tube for outgoing. This means occupado. Let me show you the rec room. So this is the 
this is where we eat, sleep, relax. Well, I don't sleep here. I have my little setup in my office. But, uh, let's see. Say lights out is 2 a.m. And if you have the food, I guess we can get out of the fridge. Yeah, let's take a look right where uh, why don't I shoot you? Hey Dale! Wanna say hi? What's up? I call this the Magician's Workshop. It's got all the bells and whistles. We're working on a little bit of server space. Like tuning. We're gonna upgrade. Um, but over here... Hey, unfortunate. You should see the guy type. 93 lines of code a minute. Oh shit. Yeah. Let me show you our lead technician. Here he is. Jake. He's got his headphones on. Hey, Jake. 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 What are you doing in here without your clean suit, buddy? Uh, Benson Clark arrived. Sure. Hi. It's him. Well, hey, man, it's pretty good to meet you. I read your thesis on harvesting both songs, and that's pretty good stuff. Oh, uh, great. Would, would you like to shake my dirty glove? I'm not going to offer you my hand, but okay, shake. It's all right. He, he takes a while to get into the Fun drunk. So as you guessed, this is the kitchen. We got sinks over here. We got our countertops, pots and pans. Up here we've got the ice and our deep freeze. This is where all our food is kept. And over here, we've got an industrial sized stove top, another coffee maker, Got some cabinets full of spices, and yeah, pretty much everything here you can use to make a meal. So, uh, we usually cooks. Well, uh, you do now. You called me just to be a cook. I thought you wanted me to be on your team so we could create an interdimensional device. Well, yes, that's true, but, uh,. I do recall you having a degree in culinary arts. But I have five other AA degrees and a master's in quantum engineering. Look, I'm sure you're well qualified, but Jake has this under control. Like, his control. So maybe, you know, if you could just help out and be the cook, it would really help us all out. Point is, I can focus on the business side of things. We'll all walk away from here with double our cut. Glad to hear you're on board. Oh, and we can do a formal dinner around eight, yeah? Glad to hear you're on board again. Some master chef you hired on. Look, I never said he was a master chef. And besides, we all like chili. I thought you hired a cook, not a can opener. Well, most of the meat back there is freezer burned, so it's gonna be canned for a while. What the fuck's he talking about? Hey, I can tell you them cows have been ruined for weeks. It was you who wanted to crank it lower for your freezer pops. Well, Marcus delivered the things half melted. That fucking icebox wasn't really doing the trick. Jake, why don't you fix the fucking fridge? Look, I got bigger fish to fry than your fucking rocket pops. This goddamn boson capacitor is a pipe dream can only render basic geometry. Could sell it as a high-tech lava lamp, though. So what's the problem? I keep getting entropic decay. I'm trying to translate the feed. Then when I render, down the shit. Sounds like you should double your cycles. How do you know that? Well, because I did it before. Past project. <laughs> I like your mobile time dilator. What happened with that one? Jake, come on. If you think I need to prove something to you, you're wrong. Now that's sound advice. Take it or leave it. I'll be sure to take that into consideration. Fuck it, fucks. So, what's for dessert? We're having ice cream for dessert. Pups. And what about the base coat? There's no fucking way you're done with that. 
Okay, yeah, fuck you, pal. I've been working on that coat for three months, and the base coat's been solid for oh, at least... Oh, well, I'm gonna go get my hands dirty. You have fun typing. I'm oh, fucking great. Shake. Can I get sick for the show? No, not tonight. He's lost. So what'd you pick? Suddenly Psychic. Oh! Totally forgot about Suddenly Psychic. Oh, we still got season three. Oh, fuck! What are you two going on about? This guy. I don't know. You know, I, I should have looked to see if he even watched the show before I hired him. <laughs> you know, he's probably one of those guys that watched the movie before the TV show. Yeah, I saw the movie before I even knew there was a TV show. Uh, the movie, the movie's better. Tinseltown always does this. They get their hands on something really good and they turn it into a disaster. Okay, now you're gonna tell me one thing. Hmm. This is Uncle Thomas' character. Yeah. Does he make a cameo tonight? I'm not telling you a thing about this, okay? My lips? Seal. Fuck you. Jake's been out cool for a while now. Let's see what this rascal's uh. Brian. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, no. So what did I miss?
Damn. I got Flip-flop wearing kind of guy hang him down. Like to just chill out, dipping people in the water. One day man came to him with a beard, handsome man. He said, I'm Jesus. You heard of me? Son of a carpenter. He says, you do miracles, boy. He says, I'm son of God. Dip me in these waters and cleanse me. John says, I would dip you, boy. I dip you, dip you, dip. So we dipped him right in the water. And at this time, it's very interesting time. This is the end of Jesus Christ himself remembered the times he spent in heaven with his father. That lock on your main gate is of little use to you. You'll need to get that fixed. It's dated to me. What is this? Who are you? My name is Mr. Euler. I'm from Dionysus, Inc. I'm here to help facilitate the remainder of your project. Listen, we already have a major funder. In fact... Wait, did you say you're from Dionysus? That's right. Look, I don't know what you heard, or anything, but we have an operation going on here that's private, we've got another funder. If you even discuss anything, you gotta discuss it with them. Is that a cell phone? You should be getting a fax any minute now. I don't use a fax. They went down to the local... Um, it's kind of like a dance hall. It's a sand floor. And you just kick up that sand and they got drums going and the sand fills the room. Uh, don't listen to me there. I made that up. Trying to imagine what they do partying back in the day drinking grape wine. What is this? It is what it said. You did read it, didn't you? Was this some kind of merger I was unaware of? I didn't realize the Cyber Region Dionysus did business together. They don't. It's just. bigger fish and all that. Man. Yeah, I don't think it's nuts. Never had a reaction like that before. Well, I'm afraid what might happen then is you experience what they call a psychosomatic event. It's where a physical response is triggered by a form of psychosis, a product of the mind. Well, I'm afraid of what my mind might be doing behind my back. Go ahead, have a seat. Sorry for the mess. I wasn't really expecting any company. Of course, again, I do apologize, but we'd really like a smooth transition here. No loose ends. We've known about your project for some time now, but we wanted to wait until we saw evidence of a breakthrough which we found tonight when your technician accessed an unregistered feed. Are you talking about Jake? You tell me. I'd like to meet him. Well, I could, I could probably set up a tour, but I run a really tight ship around here. I still think we need to settle the financial side of things before we go any further. Very well. Your cut will come monthly. It's per your usual arrangement, except for the cards, which I'll only give you once. Make all necessary purchases on those. Any debt you rack up can be dealt with in good time. No sense on living off your salary, is there? I guess not. <laughs> all right. I think we have a deal. Good. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Hey, Bert, come on out and meet all these nice people, please. All right. We really can't blame you. You see, Bert is a very, very careful fellow. 
When there's danger, this is the way he keeps from being hurt. Sometimes it even saves his life. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are around us all the time. Automobiles can be dangerous, too. They sometimes cause bad accidents. What are you doing in here? I was just checking it out. What the? What's the fucking cup doing there? Get a, get the fucking cup off now! 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 I'm sorry. I just wanted to check it out. One little drop of coffee gets in those circuits, and this whole fucking thing is kaput. It's not gonna happen again. I'm sorry. And I better not see you in here without your clean suit. What's that? Ah, it's, it's like a mockingbird. Loons are everywhere. Why not like an eagle or an owl? Eagles don't sing. I think I'd be a big old lazy dog on the porch in July. You know, I think Benson put meat stock in this. I told him it was going to be in last week. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, you made your soup special. You didn't even follow the recipe. What is that? Yeah, I can't eat this. Well, I can't finish it. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. You remember when I said that I was vegan? Okay, I didn't do that as a joke. Like, I'm really trying to watch my weight. It's really important to me that I hit below 200. You know, I was really surprised that there was meat in my soup. It's all right. So just, when you're making our meals, could you appreciate it if you want? Very sad news, this is going to be my final show. Getting tired and I know my time on this beautiful green earth is short. My nose is bleeding. Gosh. I heard somewhere that the night Martin Luther King was shot, he told his wife he knew he was going to die. Well, I happen to know that I'm going to die very soon. Much of the same like Martin Luther. I have something very serious to bring up. 
I recently came in contact with a man, a scary man. He came to me in the bright light and told me, God, then you fuck. must carry out this. You need to kill Jake Lloyd before episode one and he vanished. Now, I'm going to die soon and my followers, you need to carry this out. No, don't come and... Remember one time, Einstein said something about there being multiple universes, which took two glasses, and he filled them with water, and he would pour one of the glasses into the other one, and the other one would start to overflow, and he said, look, if you travel from one galaxy, or universe rather, to the other one, starts to overflow and the other one has less water in it. That's what you don't do that. Now don't fucking freeze this time. Third night he's there, he comes up to me after the, sh the show, and he says to me, I talk to God. Say, what you mean you talk to God, young man? And he said, he told me, he said, this is what he says to me, word for word, transcribed. He says, God talked to me, and he said, to give you my family. And I says, what? My family. I don't meet them. I want them to work for you doing God's work. I needed money at the time, so I sold that family to the North Koreans, cold hard cash. What? I never did so much cocaine in my life that night. I want the gold. You know what a family goes for? A Caucasian yeah. family, you know what that goes for? Yeah, through the roof. I got a meeting with Dionysus in an hour. Tell me anything about your progress. Fine, it's... Going. So how should I tell him it's going? Wait, 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 what do you want me to say? Should I tell him good or bad? Until we have a device to upload it into, like, we can't really test it, can we? It's going, it looks good. I did math. Math works. I don't know. Just tell him we're going to need a test I told him that last month. Well. We just started phase one of integration testing this week. Glad to hear it. And the device itself? Last month you said you were having hiccups in the plasma channels. St still some hiccups, but Jake has now ionized the plasma chambers, which has tripled our carrier to noise ratio since we last spoke six weeks ago. And as far as facsimiles go, have you had any success stabilizing any low-end channels? Well, it's hard to say. How's that? Well, I've never seen anything quite like it, so it's hard to say. We're getting uh, fragmented geometry, stereoscopic depth for five five seconds. Uh, 
we're just gonna have to run more tests. Hmm. Right. But, uh, hey, I could bring some test data to lunch on Thursday. Yes, well, uh, about that. I'm afraid there's been some reorganization within our division, and it's been kind of hectic. And what with everything's going on, we're gonna have to cancel our lunch plans. No, no, totally, totally, that's fine. Some other time, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you understand. Until next time, Mr. Jeffers. sense of it. Just pick a card, any card. Right, don't show it. Don't show it. Put it in your pocket. Hold on to that. Right now. Right. Now look at these cards. Normal cards, yeah? They all got pictures on them. They all, they all, they all cards. Yeah. Same thing that happened in Houdini. It's about to happen in these cards. It's one, two, three. So what do we got here? A lot of cards with pictures on them. It's supposed to be blank. Hey boys, you wanna come in here? Got something to show you. It's done. It's fucking done. Well, fuck it. I mean, yeah, let's start her up. Let's get Jefferson here. <laughs> no, no. We'll, 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 we'll turn that off in the morning. This, that's four hours, seven days sleep. I'm going to bed. Pick up the cards. through all that champagne in New Year's, but check out what I found. Oh, no cups? Ooh. Just like Christmas morning. <sighs> I guess I could get some more. He thinks he's around the show. He's not. He's not around the show. Hey, uh, a, li a little more. Hmm. I mean, we, we really did it, you know? We all came together. We really, we really pulled this one off, you guys. Jeffers, you know, you know, we got us the cash, and Benson, you know, took out our trash. It's good. It's not bad. And there's no shame. It's a good job. Okay, the cook's gonna work our only prototype. With what? A fucking egg beater? We don't even own one of those. I wish your eggs by hand, you fucking hey, no, prick. No, no, no. Listen, we all heard about you. He keep it said it himself. You'd probably end up replacing him if he didn't have self interest and capacity. He he's saying Jake said it about Ben's. Wait. So that's why I was a cleanup boy this whole time? Because Jake was afraid of me? Didn't say that. I think he kinda did. Bail, not helping. I don't give a fuck about that. I mean, you didn't even let me out any of the development. And I got a degree in this stuff. You, you didn't even get a degree in this stuff. I obviously know more than you. All I'm saying, if you guys want this done tonight, 
I go back there to do it. The chick doesn't even have to know. Well, in that case, fuck it. You know, I mean, fuck Jake. Let's do this. Are you sure you can do this without fucking it up? I can make it work. It works. I ain't no magician, but if it's functional, I can manage. Do it. Touch that yet? Why not? So for sure, look here. All right. Why not? I mean, you fucking got a touch for him. You got a touch for him. I'm gonna say, all right. Fine. Jeff has been <laughs> never felt nothing like this before, huh? <laughs>
my machine. And you break it in the process. We don't know what happened. This is so fucking typical. We were this close to finishing the contract and going home. Look, Dale already got really hurt over this. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Get out! Get the fuck out of here! Sorry! God damn it! Fucking... The fucking waste. Something in Jake's room. We've got to go.
You're gonna wreck the device. You're just goofing off in here. Well, no, I'm still gonna do that. I was gonna, I was gonna do it before. Back off. You're really gonna let this out in the world. You're gonna put it in the hands of the biggest tech monopoly on the planet. Hale, it's always been theirs to either sell or, or it's not your call. Here, huts. What the fuck's going on here? Just put the gun down. No. It's gonna be okay. No, not until he gets away from the device. Dale! Look, we've all been through a bit of a shock right now, okay? It's not even loaded. I don't suppose you have any bullets for this gun anywhere. <laughs> you know we're gonna have to kill that thing, don't you? Yeah, you can let Jeff us try that, he's so fucking trigger happy. We need to eventually get the power back on if we're gonna send a distress signal. Is there a power generator back there? Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not going down there. Down where? It's a spooky spider. You're gonna see a power box. And there's gonna be a switch inside that says secondary unit. You flip that switch. Don't touch anything else. You should be fine. Have fun. Don't burn the fucking place in. You think he's gonna be okay going down there alone? I don't care. the one who fucked it up. You hired on the fuck up who fucked it up. You qualified, everything checked out. I forged my fucking packet, you never looked into that. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Dude, he's in there. He's talking about he's fucking dead. Oh, he's in there. Get out of my way. Where'd he go? I didn't know! First aid! 
Assuming it reappears in our bullshit blockade, not somewhere else. I ain't gonna take that chance. The minute I see that thing, I'm gonna fucking take my hammer. Bang. Right. Well, this is our best option right now, considering we can't even leave the facility until. Until it lets us. Until the situation gets resolved. Until it gets resolved. Well, now what do we do? That's how we got here. Do either of you know why he took this job? I think he wanted to set up for an early retirement. <laughs> oh. What I meant was, did he leave anybody behind? Maybe someone that depended on him? No. The only thing Jake was doing this for was himself. Just like the rest of us. So you don't have anybody you're trying to support? Yeah. Oh, what, yeah, you're better than that or something? I got a sister to take care of. You know, we had to, we had to, we had to climb, our, climb our way up from the workhouses. She just can't climb as fast as me. What about you? You're the one who asked. I'm doing this for someone. But, uh, it's nothing to talk about. Jeffus is talking to a statue in his office. He might be losing it. I think he's cracking up. Yeah, I think we're all kind of cracking up. There we go. I'm not even doing this right, you know? Why don't you let a pro do the cleaning, huh? All sorts of imagination. Jake's fucking dead! 
Our friend just died. All right? And what are you guys doing in here? Laughing? Having a good time? You're just gonna act like it didn't happen? You're just gonna scrub it away? What are you gonna do, Clark? Just sweep it up like it didn't even happen? Leg swooping. Just sweep it on home. Sweep it on. Eyes down here. Eyes down here. Sweep it like a broom. Take it, take it again. <coughs> 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 Wake up. Hey, Jeffers. Wake up. He's out cold. Oh, no. Well, let's get him to the kitchen or something. I don't want to stay here anymore. Help me get him out of here. Okay. You guys want disaster? I'm not saying it's you or Jake's or Jeffers' fault. That means. But someone fucked up, and that, that's a that's a big fucking. How do you know it wasn't the girl? No, no. Okay, the safety precautions that needs to be implemented in the design stages. It has nothing to do with the fucking programming. Okay, it's not. The, it wasn't the programming. I corrected some of his uh, his math on his schematics. I thought the mistake was so obvious now that I think about it. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe it was all our fault, you know? But I'm not gonna wait around any longer for something weird to happen. Right, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna rip the fucking capacitor out of that device! Yeah, I'll come with. Now you gotta stay keeping an eye on Jeff, let's make sure nothing weird happens. Be back. Be back in the Jeff.
officers. everyone. They packed up and left. Project was failure. Oh. You know, we've been getting very strange readings from this location. It wasn't working. <laughs> I don't know what that could have been. Oh, you don't know! Very strange readings. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. And I think you're lying to me. Fuck, I don't, uh... Let me see the device. Ah, pretty. Couldn't get it to work, huh? Nothing beyond the range of the DA-12. Then why the abnormal readings, Mr. Clark? Is that the capacitor there? Oh, yeah. Let me see it. I've tried the damn thing a hundred times, couldn't get it to work. Where's the real one, Mr. Clark? Sneaky, sneaky. Enough of these games. Give it here. Look, you have to destroy this. Nonsense. You made it back. No team's ever been able to do that before. How many other teams did you have working on this? Now, if I told you that, those non-disclosure agreements would be meaningless. The others didn't leave, all right? It took them. Whatever dimension that accessed, it gave access to us. You have to destroy this. Believe me. You will give it to us. Or have you forgotten the girl? Tragic what happened. Though I find it strange you had to go behind her back for the operation. Why is that? What? Hand over the capacitor, Mr. Clark. And we assure you, you should get the best treatment available. Should be handled by our top men. I wouldn't worry too much about what happened, Mr. Clark. Some things are just beyond our understanding at the moment. I'm sure we'll work out the kinks next time. Anyway, Alvidas, eh? Maybe in a few months you can check up on the girl. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. Dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum.
There was a turtle by the name of Bert, and Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He ducked and cover, ducked and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. 